Welcome to the Bible with Bristow 2024. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Bristow, and today we're going to be covering Song of Songs 4 through 5 and Galatians 3. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Solomon's Love Expressed Song of Songs 4 How beautiful you are, my darling, how beautiful you are. Your eyes are like doves behind your veil. Your hair is like a flock of goats that have descended from Mount Gilead. Your teeth are like a flock of newly shorn sheep and which have come up from their watering place, all of which bear twins. And now not one among them has lost her young. Your lips are like a scarlet thread and your mouth is beautiful. Your temples are like a slice of a pomegranate behind your veil. Your neck is like the Tower of David, built in with layers of stone, half on which are hung a thousand shields. All the round shields are the warriors. Your two breasts are like two fawns, twins of a gazelle, that graze among the lilies until the cool of the day. And when the shadows flee, I will go my way to the mountains of Mer and to the hill of frankincense. You, you are altogether beautiful, my darling, and there is no blemish on you. Come with me from Lebanon, my bride, and you shall come with me from Lebanon. You shall come down from the southern summit of Amman, and from the summit of Sinir and Harmon, from the dens of lions, from the mountains of leopards, you have enriched my heart, my si sister, my bride. You have enchanted my heart with a single glance of your eyes, with a single strand of your, uh, your necklace. How beautiful is your love, my sister, my bride. How much sweeter is your love than wine and the fragrance of your oils then, then that all kinds of blossom oils your lips may drip honey my bride honey and milk are under your tongue and the fragrance of your garments is like the fragrance of Lebanon a locked garden is my sister by my bride. Uh, sister, my bride. A locked spring, a sealed fountain. Your branches are an orchard of pomegranates with delicious fruits and uh, with nard plants. Nard and saffron, spices, reeds and cinnamon with all the trees of frankincense myrrh and aloes along with all the finest mm, mm, balms and oils you are a garden spring a well of fresh water a flowing stream from Lebanon and the bride Awake, north wind, and come, wind of the south. Make my garden breath out fragrance. 
and my hit blossom and oils flow and may my beloved come into my garden and eat its delicious fruits the torment of separation the groom song a song five I have come into my garden, my sister, my bride. I have gathered my myrrh along with my blossom. I have eaten my honeycomb with my honey. I have drunk my wine with my milk. Eat, eat, friends, drink, and drink deeply, lovers. The bride. I was asleep, but my heart was awake. And then a voice, my beloved, was knocking. Open to me, my sister, my darling, my dove, my perfect one, for my head is drenched with dew, my box with the dewdrops of the night. I have taken off my dress. How can I put it on again? I have washed my face. How can I dirty them again? My beloved extended his hand through the opening, and my feelings were stirred for me or for him. And I arose to open to my bedroom, beloved, and my hands dripped with myrrh, and my fingers dripped with myrrh. And on the handle of the bolt, I opened to my beloved, but my beloved had turned away and had gone. My heart went out to him as he spoke. I searched for him, but I did not find him. I called him, but he did not answer me. The watchmen who make the rounds in the city found me. And they struck me and wounded me. The guards of the walls took my shawl away from me. Swear to me, you daughter of Jerusalem, if you find my beloved, as to what you will tell him, for I am lovesick. The chorus, what kind of beloved is your beloved? O oh, most beautiful among women, what kind of beloved is your beloved that you make us swear in this way? Admiration by the Bride The Bride My beloved is dazzling and reddish, outstanding among ten thousand. His head is like gold, pure gold. He looks are like clusters of dates and black as a raven. His eyes are like doves beside streams of water bathed in milk and perched in their settings. His cheeks are like a bed of blossoms, banks of herbal spices. His lips are lilies dripping with drops of myrrh. His hands are rods of gold set with topaz. His adornment is panels of ivory covered with sapphires. His thighs are pillars of alabaster set on pedestals of pure gold. His appearance is like Lebanon's choice as the cedars. His mouth is full of sweetness, and he is wholly desirable. This is my beloved, and this is my friend, you, daughter of Jerusalem. And that was Song of Songs 4 through 5. Now we will be turning to Galatians 3.
faith brings righteousness. Galatians 3. You foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as a crucified. This is the one thing I want to find out from you. Did you receive the Spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith? Are you so foolish having begun by the Spirit? Are now are you now being perfected by the flesh? Did you suffer so many things in vain? If needed indeed it was in vain. So then does he who provides you with the Spirit and works miracles among you do it by works of the law or by hearing with faith? Just as Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness, therefore recognize that it is those who are of faith who are sons of Abraham. The scriptures foresee that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preaching the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, All the nations will be blessed in you. So then, those who are of faith are blessed with Abraham the believer. For all who are of works of the law are under a curse, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who does not abide by the things written in the book of the law to do them. And now that no one is justified by the law before God, it is evident for the righteous one will live by faith. However, the law is not of faith. On the contrary, the person whom performs them will live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us all. And for it is written, Cursed is every one who hangs on a tree. In order that in Christ Jesus the blessings of Abraham would come to the Gentiles so that we would receive the promises of the Spirit through faith. Intent of the Law Brothers and sisters, I speak in terms of human relations, even though it is all only a man's covenant, and yet when it has been ratified, no one sets it aside or adds conditions to it. Now, the promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seeds, and he does not say, and to seeds as one would in referring to many, but rather as in referring to one. And you need, uh, and to your seed, that is Christ, why I am saying is this, the law which came 430 years ago, or 430 years later, does not invalidate a covenant previously ratified by God. So, as to nullify the promise, for the inheritance based on law, it is no longer based on a promise, but God has granted it by, to Abraham by means of a promise. Now why the law then? It was added on account of the violations 
having been ordered through angels at the hand of a meteor, meteor, until the seed would come to whom the promise had been made. Now a meteor is not for one party only, but God is only one, and is the law that, contrary to the promises of God, far from it. For if the law has been given that was able to impart life, then righteousness would indeed have been based on law. But the scriptures has confined everyone under sin, so that the promise by faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. But before faith came, we kept we were kept in custody under the law, being confined for the faith that was this destined to be revealed. And therefore the law has become out gardening to lead us to Christ, so that we may be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are now no longer under a guardian, for you are all sons and daughters of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For all who of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ, and there is none, uh, neither Jew, Jew nor Greek, this, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither male or female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's descendants, heirs according to the promise. And that was Galatians 3 which concludes the Bible with Crisco 2024 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Proverbs 3 through uh, 3. One th no, sorry about that. Tomorrow we will be covering Song of Songs 6 through 8 and Galatians 4. I'd just like to say thank you, Father, for your word. Because without your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for today. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see us again tomorrow because God willing, we'll be here. And... We hope that you are too. Please like and share. God bless you and have a great day.